Hi guys, welcome to Russia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm having a special guest, Expat American. Hello Hi. everyone, here I am, Joseph Stephen Rose, the Expat American. And today we're going to discuss what TV is lying to you about Russia. Let's go. Joseph, I'm really interested to ask you what is the perception of Russia in the American and Western media right now? Well, um, I think it's the same as it has been my whole life that Russia is the cold, dark, scary place full of strong bad guys. Really? That's what I think Western media portrays uh, to the world about Russia. I know that you moved to Russia not long time ago, like one year ago, right? It's been a year and a half. Eight days before the special military operation, I moved here with my wife and five kids. Wow, amazing. The reality didn't match with your expectations, right? Not at all. Now, when I moved here, I already knew where I was going. But 10 years ago, when I visited here this, the first time, I was scared. So, first time you visited 10 years ago and you arrived one year ago to move here, to live basically, here. Basically, basically, wow, yeah. Wow, amazing. Yeah, but yeah. 10 years ago, Russia was not that nice, I think. Well, so this was 2012 November, the first mm -hmm. time I came. And it looked good to me, you mm -hmm. know. Um, I think it looks better now. Mm -hmm. You know, I've heard that Russia got better about 10 years ago, so maybe it got better just in time for me to come see it. What do you mean by scary and gray place? Do you thought like, did you think all buildings are gray and only gopniks on the streets? <laughs> or how, how did you imagine that? I'm just so interested. Well, I mean, you know, Americans, they don't think that much about Russia. You yeah, know? They yeah. think about all their different states and yeah. their TV shows and their Hollywood movies. And you get a little bit about Russia in school in regards to like world history. Uh, but the Hollywood movies are definitely telling Americans, or they have been, that Russia is just this. It's just a cold, dark, scary place. It's where the bad guys live and that's it. As you guys know, I used to live in China and abroad and I met a few Americans during my life. They told me exactly the same thing that the majority of Americans, they do not travel outside and they do not aware about other cultures. Mm -hmm. And if you will take China as a country, they also, Americans who go to China, they was like, oh wow, China is so great. Mm -hmm. We never thought about the China is being so great. And I think it's the same for Russia. Really? Well, maybe I need to go to China then. Yeah. And no, it's true. Americans, by and large, they don't travel outside their yeah. country that much. And when they say they want to see the world, what they really mean is they want to see Western Europe. Oh. Um, <laughs> and uh, also in America, you have, you have Disney World, which has an adult theme park called Epcot, which you can walk around the world and they've built mm. all these western european countries mostly and they are employ they employ people from those countries and they make it look like you are in that country for about a block and then you're in the next country mm -hmm. so you can live comfortably in america and you can go to epcot and feel like you're in europe and you don't don't even have to leave your country or get on a plane but the world is much larger than just america in the western europe right i, I agree i'm learning it now that's mm. for darn sure you've been here for more than one year and it's enough to understand the life in Russia, right? So what is the biggest lie that uh, Western media is telling you that is not right, that is not correct? I think the biggest lie is that as an American you are in danger here and that the Russian government's going to get you or arrest you or you're going to be beat up or people aren't going to like you mm -hmm. and that is absolutely not the case. Um, I think that Russians are smart enough to know the difference. I think it's Washington DC that Russians don't like um, but because of Hollywood movies one of the benefits of Hollywood movies is as a lone American Russians in general like you and Russia has a culture to treat their guests well mm -hmm. and so as an American I'm a guest and I'm treated well and you know they they will appreciate it if I try to embrace their culture 
and learn about their culture and speak their language, and I do, um, because I'm, I'm grateful for this place. This is my home right now, and I'm treated well here. Did you have any bad situations happen to you in Russia? I can't think of any situations that have happened to me that are bad that have anything to do with Russia. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm still on planet Earth. I'm still in a city. I'm still in a country. I'm still living with people. You know, I have bad days. Sometimes my camera doesn't work for my YouTube channel or my microphone, for instance, like this morning with us. Um, but, you know, these are minor things and these are things that have nothing to do with Russia. Yes. I mean, and I, and I know that people that have never been here, they think I'm crazy when I say it's not dangerous, it's not scary, everything works well. But I mean, if you watch your videos or my videos, I mean, you can see this place and for what it really is. And it is incredibly clean. It is incredibly safe. I mean, I can't go walking in a park at night in America, for sure. That's not safe, that's not wise. In, in Moscow, I can do this whenever I want. And people say, well, Moscow is the capital city. I've, I've got a lot of videos in Russia and it's nice outside of Moscow too and safe. If you really like Russia, what you don't like here and what's maybe something you miss about America? That's a good question. I mean, nothing major, um, I would say. I mean, the food is different. That's something to get used to. Um, not being able to speak English with everyone is also something to get used to. I'm getting letters confused because I'm doing Russian all the time and not, not English that much anymore. So sometimes it's like there's the letter N, capital N in English. It's the same as another Russian letter except the Russian letter is reverse. Yeah. And sometimes when I'm writing I'm like getting confused. Wait, uh, it goes like this. Anything that you don't like about Russia? Well, if you're going to push me and pick my brain, I can tell you some things, but they are superficial. Um, like what? I don't like apartment entrances in Russia. The, po it? the podes, the poes. But yes. So What's they, wrong they, with they it? are all very dystopian looking, <laughs> very dirty and gray. Not yeah. dirty like in a bad way, but they're just not. I mean, they're sanitary. You know, but they're very stark and gray, True. and it's kind of no one's responsibility. I mean, I guess there's a, a building landlady that, that sweeps and mops, but it just, it's very plain and boring. You know, yeah. no one sees it, no one really lives there, you're just passing through, and I don't, I don't see that in America. Maybe in New York, perhaps, in some older buildings. But it's everywhere here, it's very common, and people don't notice it or even think about it. I want to ask more personal question about how did you meet your Russian wife and uh, did you ever think about moving to Russia or it just happened spontaneously? Um, I, it happened because I met her and I actually met her at a church conference. We go to the same church. So we both have the same biblical principles in mind. So even though we are foreigners, we had that in common. And we did our first date in Los Angeles, California. At the, and the conference was actually in Texas, so we did our second date in Texas. And then I told her, you know, maybe I'll go to Europe and see you one day. <laughs> and uh, she was thinking, oh my gosh, this American Europe one day? That's not good enough for me. Um, but I ended up going a few months later to London and then on to Moscow to see her. Wow, that's a wonderful story. I think it's one story out of Southend that end up literally as happy end I think Aww, because thanks. in many cases it just didn't happen to be honest people yeah. just do not make this effort to be together relationships are hard especially if you're outside your university years you know if you're not in your early 20s anymore um, you know it's like musical chairs the music has stopped and everyone has their partner and you don't have one and so my wife and I we were both in our mid 30s and we had kids and we were single so yeah, I'm, I'm grateful for the miracle. And do you never thought about that you will spend the uh, years of your life in Russia? I never thought <laughs> I'd ever visit Russia because I was born in 1974. So when I, I, I grew up in the Cold War times, well, we're in a new Cold War now, 
but I grew up during Soviet Union times and there was the Iron Curtain and I never thought I would ever set foot in this place. That's why it's amazing that I'm literally living here and not only living here, but having a good time. Like it's a wonderful place. You have a big family, right? And many kids. Five children. <laughs> oh my um, God. I have two from my previous marriage and my wife has one from her previous marriage and we have two together. Oh my God. Yes. So I want to ask you how your kids accepted this move to Russia and how is their life here? So my wife and I have been married for 10 years and all of our children speak Russian and English. Mm -hmm. um, but even my, my two oldest children from the other marriage, who are 23 and 19 now, they speak Russian fine. They go to university in Moscow. And uh, my daughter especially loves Russian culture. And she's all about um, staying here for the rest of her life. She feels oh. like it's a beautiful European city. Nice. Um, my two adult sons, the one that is from my first marriage and the one that is my wife's, they, they like Russia, but they also like the West. So they are undecided on where they want to spend the rest mm -hmm. of their life, if that makes sense. We found an American diner in Moscow. Is it for real, Joe? It is for real. I can tell you as an American, it is authentic. I think like many things in Russia, it is a heightened version of what they're imitating. So if you're a Russian and you want to feel like you're eating in America, just know that it is like America, but it's a little bit better. It's cleaner, it's nicer. Please give me a like if you want me to do a whole video about this place. Today I asked my American friends about real life in Russia, so I hope you found it interesting and please go to his channel to check out our video. That's right, she's going to be on my channel right now guys, I just posted it, so if you want to see more of us, click on that link right now which is in the description and I promise you will have a good time with Lisa and myself. That's right. Thank you so much, guys, for staying with me until the end. And I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.